In response to Senator Cassidy's vote to impeach the Republican Party of Louisiana's executive committee unanimously voted to censure the senator. The swift action comes after what members of the GOP are calling political betrayal. Asha Staples explains. Louisiana Senator Bill Cassidy was one of seven GOP leaders who voted to convict Trump for willfully inciting violence against the government and the United States. Bill Cassidy is a solid conservative. Uh, he's voted with the president 89% of the time. He's got a 99% party unity score. Uh, he's close to, you know, Republican leaders in, in, in the Senate. Uh, all that's going to go out the door just because of his vote today. 20-year political science professor of UNO Ed Shervinak says the backlash from back home was almost immediate. With a unanimous vote by the executive committee of the Louisiana GOP to censure Cassidy. We condemn in the strongest possible terms the vote today by Senator Cassidy to convict former President Trump, the party said on Twitter. Fortunately, clearer heads prevail and President Trump has been acquitted of the impeachment charge filed against him. Basically put principle over party. The impeachment managers put on a very strong case uh, that in fact the former president didn't cite this insurrection that we saw at the nation's capital. Um, and for a Republican to do that, it takes a lot of courage um, because one of the tests of being a Republican today is whether you are loyal to Donald Trump or not. Cassidy has not commented on the censure, but sent us this statement regarding his vote. Our constitution and our country is more important than any one person. I voted to convict President Trump because he is guilty. Shervinak says it will be a wait, watch and see game as to what type of political consequence could follow Senator Cassidy. Right now, he doesn't foresee it opening a door for more bipartisan votes, just more division along party lines. There's going to be certainly the COVID relief bill will be coming before Congress. We'll see how bipartisan that is. Um, and I think that's going to be the real test. Um, when we start getting into actual legislation, we'll, we'll see mm -hmm. whether this will have any kind of spillover effect or residual effect on, on relations in, in the Senate and the House. Shervinak says Cassidy's reelection holds his political position for another six years, enough time to make amends with his constituents. Asha Staples, Eyewitness News. Meanwhile, Senator John Kennedy voted not guilty. He released a statement saying in part, quote, in my judgment, impeachment is not supposed to be political sport where one party seeks advantage over the other at the expense of the country. He added the merits of the Democrats' case were not even close.